ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pop Art Hunter channel. And today we have an unboxing. Yes, it's a, a medium sized unboxing. It seems like there's something rolling and rattling around in there. So let's go ahead and open up and see what it is. Well, alrighty. So let's get this sliced open. I need to be careful. One of these days I'm just gonna <laughs> like completely ruin my life. So let's, let's cut away from us and not towards us, away from us, not towards us, away from us, not towards us. I gotta repeat these things out in my head till I remember the safety rules. It makes you wanna do things the wrong way when people will tell you to do it the right way. But if you tell yourself, you should listen to yourself because it's, it's you, you have nothing to prove. Okay, so bigger box, only a couple of figures on the bottom there. But, so, oh, and oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm so pleased. I do, I do this when I ship stuff. It's got a little bit of an edge on here so that you can more easily open up the figure. This is somebody that knows exactly how to pack stuff up. I love it. You don't hear me compliment packing jobs too much on this channel. So this one is uh, well done. Makes, makes, makes it easy to get into things, um, secure. Oh. So let's pull this guy out here. You can probably see out and tell what it is. So we have a Michelangelo figure. And this is one, I, I don't know exactly what he does or which one it is, but his head goes down. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. So you push his head and you squeeze his legs together and his head pops out. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I had this when I was a kid. Uh, and then it has a little pizza box, Ninja Pizza, which I don't think opens up. Oh, are you, oh, it's like a little hat. For him, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can push him down here and put the little hat on and then Oof. <laughs> That is pretty cool. Yeah, and it, it's definitely not meant to go on his head because it's got his head mold shape on there. And there's a, a little piece of the bandana. You got to see how that fits in. Super cool. I love that one. All right, we got a little one more here. I'm starting my journey into collecting Classic vintage Ninja Turtles. Okay. Alrighty. Almost there. Ooh, gotta be careful here. There's some little extra bits and bobbles within. Okay. So here we have Shredder. Let me make sure I get all the pieces out of here. There's a little bitty tiny Bits of stuff in there. Yeah, we got all everything out. We got everything out of this one too. All right, perfect. So this is a, a shredder. I think uh, I believe I believe my memory served me. Shredder used to come with like a cape or or something that you put on him. So he's missing that little piece of it, but he's got all of his little accessories here. I think I don't know. I say all of them, not knowing explicitly if it's all of them, but it's quite a few of them uh, for for sure. So he's got this little. Uh, blade, kind of like a Assassin's Creed little little blade there. Th same thing with this one, a little knuckle, almost like a brass knuckles with a blade on the end. Little throwing star. Yeah. And then you have uh, this other, these other little handheld weapons there. Uh, yeah. So uh, missing out a couple of little things, missing some shoulder pad things and everything. But I'm as I'm starting to get in this, I'm noticing that you. If you buy a complete figure, you often um, are paying up for it because you have all the little pieces, you have everything that's intact. So my guess is that I'm going to start having to piece some things together. Um, and if you buy pieces separately, you could go online, order this one little piece, and it might cost you five to twenty dollars. It just depends because how rare they are and how little they are, and because you need that one piece. I might pay $30 for the complete figure, not necessarily this one, but $30, $40, $50 for a complete figure, but I might pay $15 for the one little piece that I'm missing in order to complete the figure that I'm missing the one piece for. And so it can be a lucrative business to get into these uh, little little side trinkets here. Uh, and so I'm, I, when I saw this one, I thought, well, even though he's not complete, it comes with so many accessories um, it's definitely worth the, the price. So happy to have uh, these guys in my collection. This one's, I'm more excited about this one right now because I 
honestly didn't know or remember that he did this when I purchased it. The, the little head pop action. <laughs> that's really cool. And putting the pizza box on his head, have it fly around, that's, that's really neat. Happy to have these. It's just the start, I hope, of my Ninja Turtle collecting. Yes, I know. I've started getting into collecting action figure stuff. I, I used to have a collection of like NECA, McFarlane, some of those types of things uh, when I was growing up as a kid and into being a teenager and I just sort of had them and I got rid of them all. I said, ah, I'm done with that. I'm going to get out of that collection. And then all of a sudden I started having this nostalgia rise up and bubble up inside of my, my tummy and rise to my chest and got in my heart and I said, I've got to get some Ninja Turtles, some classic Ninja Turtles. Uh, just relive that childhood memories I had of playing with them myself. And so, yeah, I've started getting into that. Now, I've decided I'm not going to really get deep into it yet. I'm going to start with some of the loose stuff and see how it goes. I'm not going to get really crazy with expensive stuff because you can go down a rabbit hole that your wallet will cry about. I can guarantee you. So, uh, you know, I, I think these figures are a good start to me kind of building that loose collection and gives me some extra figures to dabble with and start learning more about them, have extra parts, see the variance between them, learn a little bit more about the years and all that kind of stuff. So it's an educational phase right now and education uh, costs money, but it can be cheap <laughs> if you purchase loose figures. So anyway, happy to have these in my collection, happy to start this whole Ninja Turtle journey uh, and hopefully I'll get some other collections and other figures from other sets as well. So we'll see what happens. Friends. Thanks for watching the Pop Art Hunter channel. Hopefully, you like, subscribe, comment, and all those sorts of things, and we will see you next time.